Hello guys, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video. In today's video, as I said in my previous one, we're going to be covering the details of the actual dev stream, or I guess the Tenocon stream, whatever you want to call it. Now, today we're going to be covering the Railjack game mode and, I guess, the gameplay in the background. Now, the gameplay is obtained by uh, Warframe's actual YouTube page, so I got it from there. Well, the stream, actually, but... Uh, Nonetheless, you have the gameplay in the background, so you can check it out how it looks, how it works. Now, a couple of things that I want you to know in this game mode. Now, this is not going to be coming out soon. This is scheduled to come out, it's just we don't know when. I'm considering it's not done as much as they want it to be. So I'm guessing in about two months maximum, maybe. Maybe even further down the line, because this seems to be like a little, literal whole new game mode. Now, the rewards we don't know yet, so that's going to be like an empty canvas uh, that they they can literally put anything in. Hopefully not as bad as the daily logins, because that is shite, that's just, the daily logins are really bad. But uh, the, I hope the rewards are going to be pretty decent, and it's going to be sort of fun, uh, and maybe even endgame if you want to imagine like that. We do have Sanctuary Onslaught, but maybe something else to spice it up a little bit. Now... A uh, couple of things that I want you to know, and a couple of things that I actually, you know, thought when I saw the stream. I thought the ship was on rails, and also had a certain dedicated path. No, you can completely move all around free uh, freely in that battle area that you get. So that is something that I really like. I thought it was going to be on rails, which I just didn't like at all. But you can move around freely, destroy, you know, meteors, destroy these little, I guess, structures that are there. You can also... Of course, you're going to need to destroy the enemy ships, because if you don't, they're going to destroy you. And I guess the main point of this game mode is to destroy Nefanyo's ship. Now, I don't know what kind of beef you and Nefanyo have, I just know that you need to destroy his ship. Now, how do you do that? Uh, you destroy his ship by, if you damage it enough, you're going to open up a hole. And then what you're going to need to do is jump out of your spaceship, one of your squad mates has to, has to jump out of your spaceship, and then go by Archwing, to the Nefanyo ship and then find the core, destroy the shields around the core or deactivate them, uh, then scan the core and then your ship's cannons can lock onto the core. Now, the main cannon seems to be just like a massive uh, rail cannon, just like a really massive rail cannon. So I'm guessing it's gonna have, you know, maybe you're gonna have a little power mini game or something like that. It could be, you know, just to gather up enough power to actually power that ma massive rail gun. So I. I, that could be nice. Uh, once uh, I wanted to come, I wanted to jump onto the next bit, which is that enemies can actually board your ship, and also uh, fires can catch on your ship. So you're gonna have to extinguish the fires and kill the enemies. Now that you know that's something to keep you entertained uh, between destroying an F on your ship and just destroying asteroids. So that is something you know fun to do, I guess. You can turn off fires and. Uh, you know, kill enemies. Now, this seems to be really like, uh, for example, Sea of Thieves or some other pirate games, uh, just in space. So, you know, you have to, you know, except in space, or well, you have to put out fires, you don't have any water to, you know, dish out with your buckets. So, I'm guessing you're gonna be using the opposite and b picking up buckets to turn off the fires or uh, extinguish the fires. And killing enemies, of course, is always the same. Now, that's mostly it. Now, are you going to be able to travel from planet to planet, maybe from to a junction to junction with this spaceship, and maybe a little mini game? Now, I don't know if this is going to be. We don't know yet, really. Uh, this would be really cool. I do think you know something in between. I guess two junctions would be quite fun to do, because if you think about it. Sometimes, uh, just loading screens can take a while, sometimes, as I said, depending on the host and depending on uh, the, your actual internet connection and your uh, PC specs. But uh, sometimes it does take a long ass time to connect, so maybe something to do, you know, just a mini game, so nothing really special to do in between uh, this. I mean, honestly, if I could choose between the Lisette and this spaceship, I would choose this spaceship over it any day because the Lasset for me is just really really freaking cramped it's just really really small and I don't like it at all so that is one thing that I would change uh, I would definitely get a bigger ship I mean uh, imagine this you're advancing in Warframe you're getting you know primed Warframes and you're getting more and more of them and uh, you're just uh, going further and further now they added how many rooms you have they have three rooms in your spaceship 
they added a whole new section of your spaceship and I cannot imagine that that actually fits in. I do feel quite cramped in my last set and I think maybe having a new ship later down the line, sort of like, not end game, but you know, maybe for as a quest, maybe that would be really nice, that would be quite interesting to say the least. Uh, and uh, hopefully something like that does happen. Uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe it, you know, maybe a lot of other people don't, uh, you know, think the same way as I do. But I think having a new spaceship that would be quite nice, and having a mini game as well would be quite nice. Now that is mostly it from me. I'm gonna leave you guys with the gameplay. Well, I'm not going to because you guys can check it out fully there. I just put in the main, I guess, details uh, in these six minutes that I recorded. So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, my name is The Gaming Weasel. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more content. I do try to upload now more and more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. The Gaming Weasel over and out.